Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Nikash, so I'm back with another exciting video tutorial. So, in this video, we're gonna talk about a uh, bridge collapse. Uh, how to make a uh, bridge collapse inside this and 4D. So, this is a normal bridge. I'm using just a uh, Veroni fracture. Veroni fracture. I don't know how to fracture and fall off connector and some cubes and some uh what we say platonic so let me show you first we finish the simulation i already upload uh before video on youtube about demonstration of this so now uh in this bridge you don't find we don't enable detail right now so let's start first we create a new scene so first we create a simple shape of bridge or something like that or road here yeah. okay so here we go We create one more So we create three people. Make it a little bit longer. Uh, we just convert this road into editable poly. We just rename it and load. And now it gave me a little shape with it like it's it. There we go. Um pebble knife on the edges if you want what you want. I'm just showing you how you can do that like this something to more okay so next thing the main thing we had a fracture bone on our uh bone fracture bone oil fracture on our road here so go in more graph tag and just I'll hold alt and click for on a fracture so as you can see here so this is the main uh, pattern we get uh, the main thing how it's gonna break so the secret is uh, creating a really <clears throat> realistic look and uh, you need to add more source and point generated with us first point we make it less like two or three three make it three point and we use a transformation so we make it a bit on this side you need to date it because this 
so here we have our shape and now we create a nice distribution source click on add sorry we have two by mistake so on our second distribution source we just add um, point amount like uh, 300 or 400 so I change to 400 and we just decrease the size so in transformation just low the size here so here we go so we want it on our this side so on the edge or you want anywhere you take it anywhere you want so but I want it on this edge like that so as you can see here when something hit here it should like something going down and now we add a second a third uh, distribution source same like this 400 we just add 400 point it's also depend on your computer how powerful PC you have because it's take a uh, too long to simulate these things so if you have um, too much geometry it's take a long time so same like we just uh, put it there or somewhere this side as you can see here we have a uh, simple <coughs> shape of our fracture now the last thing we add for one distribution point for our a uh, little bit roughness we just add a 400 for more chunks of bridge make a little bit smaller but not that small a little bit okay like that so let's give it more realistic look now you can add uh, if you want to create a more uh, random look just add more distribution source and just change it to a like uh, we have here and point amount let's change it to a 300 and small it down and mix it with your uh, this random now it's create different size of chunks when it's uh, simulation when it when you simulate it it gives you a different size smaller and bigger that's what make it realistic as you can see here so next thing we just fracture this center pillar because uh, for making it more realistic look at fracture running on your center uh, cube or you can add fillet object on it so I just make it more great looking so now same we just rename it we don't draw and source we just change it to a 2 or 1 I just change it to a 2 point amount and take a little bit down here in the center point now I create a new one a distribution source and change it to a 400 or any you want and scale it down like in the center all the way up so and Oh, yeah. 
So that's how I wanted to break. So okay, that's looking great. So let's go to a dynamic or simulation. How to make it simulate? So we first create a floor here for collider body. Just put it underneath. So now we add a simulation dynamics rigid body on our uh, road fracture just click on rigid body and here we need to something to something change going dynamic and change trigger from intermediately to on clean <clears throat> and going clean tab and in Harry tag just change it to all and sorry uh, apply tag to children and individual elements from anything to all so now what uh, it's gonna do it's apply on your uh, on your own these breaking pieces otherwise uh, it's going down it's simulated like it's all road is a one object so so let's see create some add some sphere for our what we say clean an object who we'll drop on the each side we we'll just make sure it's the following here yeah. make it smaller now we just add a rigid body on our sphere so let's play how it looks like okay it's looking great so as you can see it's already looking great so uh, for these two pillar we just all these two pillar we just add on this pillar this pillar and this floor we just add as glider uh, glider body so now let's see if we hit play as you can see it's give you a really natural result so it's looking great but it's not what we want here so it's look really bad so we need to add some connector so, so we duplicate this sphere and we also add our sphere this this side okay now we add a region for time let's see if we hit play as you can see now it's looking little bit good but not that good so what we do here now we add a uh, road on um, road fracture we just go in brownie fracture and go in connector tab click on create fixed connector what's gonna allow you it's uh oh it's uh uh, it's uh, what it does it's connect this all pieces together uh, with the force of torque and what we say I don't know how I explain it but it's connect these pieces like it's not gonna fall down with these things so let's see how it's going look so yeah, it's a little bit slower your PC as you can see As you can see, when it hits on the, what we say, on your road, so it's gonna float on the road. Uh, it's like it's not a heavy object. So what you can do, you just simply go in Sphere Dynamics tab, uh, uh, Rigid Body tab. So just go in a mass here. Just change your custom mass and change it to 100. When you do that, so now your sphere have more mass it's going straight down so as you can see here now it's not stuck on your so as you can see it's all stay together because of connector 
you can add uh, so you can add uh, you can increase the force on connector for make it more connected so you just go there and click nine and change it to a ninety thousand and ninety thousand so let's make it more connect so it's not going to fall down so let's see if i'm right or not so there we go it look like it's more uh, what we say like flexible or uh, yeah as you can see here starts looking great but we don't want this one like that so what we can do just change the top five fifty thousand fifty thousand and here we go and we just so that's the main thing you want to know how to break these objects we just write the fragment and we just run a depth or ambient equation so you can see what's going on player d here now if you hit play As you can see here, it's already looking great. So now it's the right amount. Now the main thing is the roughness on the edges of broken pieces. So for that we need to add uh what we say detailing. So this is a really make slower your PC. So if uh, I mean let me show you. If you click on and but this is a main magic part here so when you enable the telling so it's take little time it's cal uh, calculating subdivision so and displacement as you can see here nothing as you can see my pc is going too slow now so as you can see there is a much more detail here so you can uh decrease this value minimum edge line so it's mm, give it a more what we say uh more more what we say roughness so more quality in your roughness so i just click on active in viewport i'll disable active in viewport so the main settings i use i change it to a minimum edge so trying to don't go below one otherwise your if you're gonna try so i just six and as you can see it's calculating subdivision so let me show you how many subdivision now you have on your road so if you just change it to a guard shading lines here so that you can see clearly what i mean so little time it's calculating subdivision so <clears throat> so uh, okay so it's an already car sharing i don't know why it's, it's stuck right. as you can see here the polygon values on your road so it's too highly detailed here so that's why it's make it just slower so be careful when you use these values so it's make it really really slow so for i'm using uh no style and noise type i use fpm because it gives you a great result like really good result here fpm so it's really look like a uh, road club so or when you can play around these settings so uh, for your favorite results so you can see yes, and 
trying to make paint immediately. Now see how this works. We just saw the colorization. So if we just hit play. As you can see, it's looking great. As you can see here now, Okay, that's looking great. That's how you class uh, clubs bridge inside this Anima 4D. I hope you like this video. So just don't uh, worry about playing around this setting. So uh, and you can add dust or particle system or add more debris on your simulation by using X particle. If you don't have X particle, you need to know how to use Expresso. So you can also do with that uh, do this with expresso or you can turbulence fd so for turbulence fd you need to do it manually so you need to add uh, convert it into a editable polygon so when you press c here on road fracture now it's all the polygons so but it's the good point it's working like same before one but it's make it so slow so what we need to do because of this connector so we need to delete this connector and uh, they use displacement here so don't enable displacement right now so as you can see here it looks same like before here <coughs> So now you can add uh, what we say <clears throat> a dust or uh, particles using turbulence FT. So how you can do that? Just go on live connection and hit play. So just stop there and select these polygons which falling down. now and like this sphere and this object now you have the good amount of polygon press alt c and here you have your group polygon so that's how you break uh, or clap bridge inside the sun mask 40 thanks for watching i hope you like this video if you didn't understand anything just comment below so